welcome to school of civil engineering and also welcome to this series and um, in this series i have already completed almost 20 video 21 video and uh, they are I have discussed about every part of uh, design and you are new to this here you can see the previous video and in this video i'll show you that how i will check for base share i mean it is very important to complete base share check and uh, after that we'll uh, give different check for building and then finally we'll go for design So first of all, I will open my previous model. This is my previous model, and uh, if you're staying with me, then you know that about that. And if you didn't see that, you can see from previous. Uh, the link are given in description. So first of all, one thing: what is base share? The base share means suppose this building load are working downward this building load are working downward and when lateral load will apply on this building the building will try to move in x direction or y direction and uh, the soil condition will protect that this is also known as the base shear. so in this video we'll check that the base shear is okay or not so here we'll use that one value base share value we will take about manual from our code and one value we will take from ETFs so after that we will see that is it ok or not if the difference of this uh, base share percentage is very low then we will consider our building plan otherwise we will go for redesign so first of all we will check that load pattern here we have assigned that load according to UBC 97 cancel and here load case there is a load case so everything are okay now we'll go for run analysis it's analyzing and uh, again I'm telling you if you're new to here you can go our previous video and you can see that I think it will be very helpful for you it's analyzing and taking some time after analyzing we'll take the required value from here and also we'll check it according to our code so in this video i'm using my country code like bnbc code bangladesh national building code and uh, you have to check it for your country code so first of all i'll go here table then i'll go for result from here analysis then result then I'll go for reaction reaction and from here we'll take base reaction from here we'll take base reaction double click and here you'll find a base reaction but uh, we'll take only load for its live load and dead load so and so go here select dead live and partition wall so here you are seeing that it's showing dead live and partition all and here the dead load live load and partition wall are our concentrated load ho how to work in downward i mean according to gravity so first of all we will select that load and that load that load and that load and after that we'll select that load so here i have 
prepare a excel sheet for my country code i mean for bnbc code and from here i will input data which are required for that check so from here i will give the data and uh, you will complete the check by using your country code so here so first of all we need check from etabs here is the dead load here is the super dead load i mean partition wall floor finish and here is the live load so first of all and here is the service live load so first of all we'll go for and uh, another one load we need earthquake load so we'll get go here again we'll go here and also we'll select earthquake load also qx okay then from here we'll take that load and that load for our dead load so copy that and go to excel paste it here paste as value here is the value then we'll take out super dead load here is the partition all our super dead load we all know that so here is the super dead load paste as value and we'll take our live load here our live load copy and here is our live load paste it here again we'll go for and here you are seeing that one thing service live load so if you have any service live load you can add here and this and it will be the 25 percent of service live load and here we need earthquake load so first of all we'll check for x direction we'll copy that copy go to excel and paste it here as value and it's showing that minus so we'll delete that enter here live load so our base share percentage are showing that it's 3.4 percent 3.4 percent our base share take are showing it's 3.4 percent showing from etabs now we'll take it for manual so for manual we need zone coefficient you all know that what is that this is the earthquake zone coefficient so from here I will take our earthquake zone coefficient and um, you have to check that which value you have inputted for your etabs so this value should be same to same as your etabs so for here go here load pattern here seismic load modify and you are seeing that my seismic zone factor was 0 0.15 and CSCV it's not required and here 0 0.3 CT 0 0.3 and uh, overestimate factor as 5.5 important factor 1 so I'll go to Excel and here our zone coefficient on 0. 1 5 our importance factor you have to put your importance factor from your design code so importance factor was 1 and the value of CT was 0 0.034 and the value of M the value of M also you will find I mean uh, by using that two value you have to calculate your time period t so you have to calculate the time period and uh, I believe that easily you can 
find your CS value and base share value according to your code I mean just you have to calculate that value SA you have to just calculate SA value from your code and the design spectral acceleration you have to calculate only design spectral acceleration and it will be the percentage of base share I mean the SA value will be your percentage so go here here you will get the value that is her base share are showing here this this value is spectral acceleration so the value of m is according to my code 0 0.9 and there have another thing building height total building height so you have to take that building height from your etabs go here cancel that edit strain grid system show and here you see that the elevation fit 1 to 5 125 close that and go here so 100 1 to 5 mark 3.28 you have to take uh, take that value as meter so according to our code the value of building height take meter uh, for calculating time period I mean T so here 38 we have found our time period here we have found our time period now we have to calculate CS so according to our time period we will calculate our CS so they have a shortcut way for our code from that figure we'll just that figure will take our CS value so our time period was 0 0.898 I mean 0 0.9 almost 0 0.9 so from here go to down and here 1 and go here oh, like that position it will be and here so we're saying that and uh, in this design we have take our soil type is SD stabilized soil so 1.75 uh, like 1.75 or CS value so we'll take it 1.75 1.75 and the value of r so i have take it in etabs 5 okay and here you are showing that our value are showing 3.94 percent 3.94 percent so this value is nothing but a spectral acceleration in percent and this value is the here showing that e 10 i mean e 10 it's earthquake load divided by total downward load and its percentage its base share percent so from here we're seeing that it's showing 50.68 percent or here we're seeing that uh, from our etabs it's 3.4 and from our base share it's 3.94 and it's very close to each other i mean the variation of hand calculation and our tips calculation are very close so we can consider that this building design is okay i mean base share check is okay and if you uh, um, till of 40 or 50 percent you can take that you can the take difference till 40 or 50 percent and uh, it shouldn't be not more than so i think it's clear to you and if you have any problem about that you can or mail me or comment me below next video i will check about p delta check so this is also a important check then i will go for soft story check 
then another video in rotational check after all check completed then i'll go for final design of that building so thank you thank you very much stay connected and stay well till next video